You've seen it a million times. You walk outside in the middle of the day, look up and boom, blue sky. Then later, as the sun starts to set, the sky suddenly flips the vibe. Now it's glowing red, orange, pink, and sometimes even purple. It's beautiful, sure, but also kind of suspicious. Why the dramatic mood swing, sky? Let's break down what's really going on up there. We think of the sun as yellow, right? Wrong. The sun actually gives off white light, a mix of all the colors in the visible spectrum. If you could stare at it without going blind, you'd see it's more like a bright white spotlight than a yellow crayon. So where do the colors come from? That's where the Earth's atmosphere gets involved. As sunlight enters Earth's atmosphere, it collides with gas molecules and tiny particles in the air. When this happens, the light scatters. But here's the twist. Not all colors scatter the same. Blue light has a shorter wavelength, which makes it scatter more easily in all directions. So, during the day, when the sun is high in the sky, and the light has a relatively short path to your eyes, the sky isn't actually blue. It just looks that way because of how sunlight and air molecules interact. Basically, the sky is lying to your face, but in a pretty way. So, why red at sunset? As the sun sets, the angle of sunlight changes. The light has to travel through more atmosphere, which means more molecules, more dust, more air, more stuff for the light to scatter through. And by the time it reaches you, most of the blue light has been scattered away. What's left, the longer wavelengths, red, orange, and yellow. So your evening sky turns into a lava lamp of soft, fiery colors. It's basically nature's filter game. Less blue, more warmth. Pollution, wildfires, and volcanoes make it prettier and creepier. Ever noticed how sunsets look more intense after a forest fire or volcanic eruption? That's because extra particles in the air scatter more light. More particles equals more drama. In fact, the spectacular sunsets after the 1883 Krakatoa eruption were so vivid, people thought the world was ending. So yeah, beautiful skies sometimes come with terrifying causes. Fun twist, cities with more pollution often have more colorful sunsets. Just another reminder that nature loves irony. Pink or red skies in the morning can mean that moisture is in the air, possibly bringing storms later in the day. So your sky's not just pretty, it's sending you weather updates in full color. Do other planets have colorful skies? Astronauts aboard the International Space Station don't see blue skies or sunsets like we do. They see 16 sunrises and sunsets a day, as the station orbits Earth every 90 minutes. Imagine trying to keep up your Instagram story highlights with that many golden hours. Yes, and they're weird. Mars has pinkish skies during the day and blue sunsets, the opposite of Earth. Why? Because Martian dust is extra at scattering red light. Titan, Saturn's moon, has a thick orange haze that makes the sky look yellowish. On Venus, the atmosphere is so thick and full of carbon dioxide that sunlight barely makes it through. So, not exactly great for sky watching. So, while Earth gives us Instagram-worthy sunsets, Sets, other planets are out there doing their own thing, just less romantically. There's a word for the love of sunsets, opacarophile. Yep, someone actually made a fancy name for person who likes watching the sky turn pretty colors. And yes, it sounds like a Pokemon. Let's pause and ask the question no one's brave enough to ask, why isn't the sky green? Scientifically, green sits in the middle of the visible light spectrum. In theory, it could scatter too. But our atmosphere favors blue wavelengths due to their shorter length. And there's just not enough overlap in the spectrum for green to win the sky color lottery. Also, our eyes are more sensitive to blue in daylight conditions. Combine that with the way our brain interprets scattered light, and blue dominates the skies. Sorry, green. You're stuck being grass. But get this. Sometimes during severe thunderstorms, the sky actually does turn green. It's a weird mix of sunlight filtering through moisture-heavy clouds. And when you see it, it usually means hail, or tornadoes are on the way. So, yes a green sky is nature's run warning. It's like the atmosphere saying, this is not a drill. Why do we care so much? We're not just talking science, we're talking emotion. Humans have always looked to the sky for meaning. Artists paint sunsets. Poets write about twilight. And let's be honest, you've definitely taken a sunset selfie at least once. But now that you know the science behind it, maybe next time you look up, you'll see more than just color. You'll see molecules, light waves, and Earth's atmosphere putting on a show just for you. Drop your thoughts in the comments. We reply to every single one. The most liked comment might just become our next video. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more mind-blowing science. See you in the next episode.